So guys, we are back with another How Divers 2 video and today guys, we have a saucy one. Some brand new weapon gameplay, unreleased weapon, well, weapons that are coming to the game. Some brand new gameplay on them. We're also going to check out guys, what's more or less confirmed weapon customization, full weapon customization in How Divers 2. How cool does that sound? Well, it seems as though from the data mine files and these leaks that that is going to be a thing going forward. Let's go. How's it going, guys? My name is DPJ and the winner of yesterday's 2100 Super Credits giveaway is seen on screen. Now, if this is you, hit me up on my Discord. Now, do you guys want to win 2100 Super Credits or a copy of this game? Well, it's simple. Drop a like on this video, liberate the video with a massive thumbs up. Make sure you are subbed with those post notifications turned on and drop a comment down below. Winner will be picked and announced on tomorrow's How Divers 2 videos. Okay, so let's get into it, guys. And like I said, we have some things to go through. And first things first, we have some brand new weapon gameplay. Now, some of these look absolutely incredible. We'll talk a little bit about each individual weapon. And I'll link the source down below because there's plenty of footage on these. are like 10 minutes plus for each weapon. I'm going to showcase that much to you. But we'll just talk a little bit about the weapon where you're seeing gameplay of it in the background. Okay, so the first one, guys, we have the Adjudicator. So the Adjudicator, you're seeing gameplay of it on screen now, thanks to Mouse TTV over on the How Divers of Leaks Reddit. Now, this is a brand new Marksman rifle. It's called the BR-14 Adjudicator. And what it states is an accurate armor penetrating rifle. The BR-14 Adjudicator uh, delivers righteous judgment to medium-sized enemies through its restrictive magazine limits its effectiveness against large groups. A uh, weapon traits medium armor penetration. We can see stats there: an 80 in damage, capacity is 25, recoils 50, and finally with that 550 fire rate. So yeah, the gameplay I've seen on screen now. Now, I actually do enjoy marksman rifles for the most part in many other games. It's my goal too. In this one, if I hadn't, well, in Helldivers, if I hadn't fallen in love with shotguns, I'd probably still be using a marksman rifle. I actually do like the look of this thing. Now, obviously, until you get your own hands on it and you can feel it for yourselves, it's hard to judge a weapon. But to me, it looks quite good. It looks quite powerful. It's doing all the things a marksman should. If you, if you pair this with the right kind of gameplay style you can actually set up and be quite monstrous with this kind of thing so yeah i'm actually liking the look of it so yes the adjudicator a gameplay you're seeing right now on the screen and if you want to check out the full footage you'll see it linked down below Okay, so next up, guys, we have the Truth Whisperer. Now, this is a weapon we actually saw an image of quite a while back. I haven't seen gameplay of it as of right now, but we have it again thanks to Maz TTV over on How Divers Leaks already. So this is an assault rifle, but the well, great thing about this thing is it's got a built-in suppressor. So you can see its stats on screen now and a little bit of the description on it. The AR-48 Truth Whisperer is a assault rifle. A silent assault rifle with a built-in suppressor which won't alert distant targets to the user's position. Now, this would be very, very, very handy indeed, guys. It really would. Weapon traits, light armor penetrating. Uh, stats, we can see it does 55 to that damage. Uh, capacity of 30, recoil of 30, and a fire rate of 7. 750. So yeah, so gameplay this you're seeing on screen now. And again, guys, if you want to check out the full gameplay footage, you'll see that linked down below. But this is the weapon. Definitely piques my interest, I won't lie to you. Yeah. A suppressed weapon which doesn't alert distant targets is something I could definitely get used to. I won't lie to you. So what do you think about this? Let me know down below, guys. Max 
Next up, people, we have the exploding crossbow again, thanks to Mouse TTV. So the CB9 exploding crossbow is a weapon many, many people are interested in, me, myself included. Now, crossbows in this game obviously require a certain player style. I don't know to which way is about that. But looking at gameplay of this thing, it does seem like it's a little weak on the weaker side. But I think because of the explosion and being able to hit multiple targets at the same time, it's kind of balancing itself out, I feel. Uh, but we've seen it right here, guys, with a little bit of a description on it. The explosive CB9 exploding crossbow fires powerful exploding bolts, which do maximum damage upon direct impact. Gravity must be accounted for when aiming because its weapon tray is explosive, obviously. Stats, damage of 150, capacity of 5, recoil of 35, and fire rate of 50. So yeah, looking at the gameplay of it, I'm not sure it's going to be my go-to, I won't lie, I'll give it a try. Uh, but we will see, guys, we will see. But yes, the exploding crossbow, for anybody who's interested in gameplay of it, you'll see that on screen now. Okay, so next up, guys, you have the R36 Eruptor. So the R36 Eruptor, you've seen a little bit of gameplay of this on screen. Now, there's not much of this, about like 20 seconds of it, if that. This is another exploding weapon, much like the crossbow, but this, in my opinion, looks way better. So a little bit of details on this. Uh, the R36 Eruptor, this bolt-action rifle, fires jet-assisted shells and that explode shrapnel in all directions upon impact not recommended for close quarters use we've seen its weapon traits a medium armor penetrating stats are 213 at damage which is potent capacity of 5 recoil of 75 and fire rate at 25 so it's a lot slower than the uh, crossbow in regards to how quick it fires but it's way way more powerful and looking at the gameplay on it guys i'm not gonna lie this thing looks like an absolute monster i'm really feeling this i'm not gonna lie but yes there's not much again we can go off there's a little bit of gameplay until we get our own hands on it until we play for ourselves we can't really finalize a decision on it i'm the same as you guys i like to try things before i actually make my mind up so yeah okay so lastly for today's guys we have another leak another data mind well files from mouse ttv on a full weapon customization system in this game. Yes, you heard that right. Now you see in there the actual data mine files on screen now. He states weapons can freely change ammunition type, magazine size, internal accessories, muzzle, scope, slings, paintings, etc. And we've seen a ton of details and a ton of weapons where it seems as though these will be customizable. Now we saw a little bit on this last week but now we'll see more and more files in the game coming with every single patch it's only a matter of time now that i feel that we will be able to customize certain weapons if not all weapons in this game which is something i massively massively stand behind being unique in your own weapon and being able to customize your own weapon so it plays to your player style is a massive, massive plus to me. And I don't think anyone's going to disagree with this. I don't think anyone would prefer generic weapons over ones you can customize and make your own. But hey, if you're the kind of person who does like that generic weapon, you don't like to customize, let us know. Actually, don't. Don't let us know. Don't let us know. I think you'll be roasted. But yes, guys, a full weapon customization system leak is the latest and greatest surrounding this game guys if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys i will see you on that next one